Let's look at question 7. Question 7 of the 2019 CSEC Mathematics paper. Again, let me remind you, you must complete each question before you look at the video. Alright? And uh, therefore you will be able to practice on your own. You should not just look at the video and say, oh, this is how it's done. You must try the question before you watch the video. Alright? Now, the nth term, Tn, of a sequence is given by this. Show that the first term of a sequence is 1. Now, question, what is a sequence? Well, let me see how I could put it. A sequence, sequence of numbers, is one where you have a particular number as a first number, and the second number is generated from a particular rule or formula from that first number, and the third from the second, and so on. So, is really a set of numbers where, where that are in a certain order where one number is generated using a specific rule involving the previous number. Now, we could say for example 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 you can see what you have is 2 then you add 2 to each 2 plus 2 is 4, two, 4 plus 2 6 6 plus 2, 8. So here you generate the sequence by adding 2 to the previous number to get the particular number you want. To get a certain number, you add 2 to the number that was before it. Alright, so that's an example of a sequence. Now let's look at this sequence, the nth term of a sequence. Tn. Okay, so this is saying that Tn is equal to 3 n squared minus 2. Show that the first term is 1. Alright. The first term would be where n is 1. So in the first term n is 1. In the second term n would be 2. In the ter third term n would be 3 and so on and so forth. Alright, so T1, what is T1? It's 3 times 1 square because n is 1. So it's instead of n square, I put 1 square now. Minus 2. So you have 3 times 1 square, which is 3 times 1 is 3 minus 2. What is 3 minus 2? It is 1. So we see that n, e n is equal to 1. And since they say show, that this is so, then you write shown and underline it.